Welcome to the Express Election 22 pods. In the run-up to polling day on the 22nd of June, we'll be publishing a short statement from each of the deputies' candidates in each of the districts. This one focuses on St Helia South, where there are four seats available. Here's the list of candidates for you to choose from, and we'll be publishing each of their statements now in alphabetical order. Hello. I'm Tom Coles, and I'm standing for Reform Jersey in St Helier South. When I left school, I trained as an electrician before taking a career change. This led me to work for a large private security company for the past 18 years. I am presently the operations manager for our records management department. If elected, three of the things I would do for St Helier are Firstly, I would reduce traffic and emissions by implementing alternative transport initiatives, for example, improved cycling and walking routes, and also an improved bus service that works for the user rather than the operator's profits. Secondly, I would ensure a new school is built for the district. With a lot of development planned for St Helier and our local schools already filled to capacity, some parents are having to drive to a different parish just to take their kids to school. And thirdly, I would protect our open spaces and grab every opportunity to, to develop more when the chances arrive. With so much apartment living in St Helier, these spaces become ever more important to our physical and mental well-being. The biggest problems that Jersey faces are a cost of living crisis, which will see many hard-working families fall into poverty. A housing crisis that will not only see a younger generation unable to buy their own home, but make many people feel the insecurity that comes with overinflated rental prices. But the biggest problem is the lack of cohesive governance and decision-making, rather than the joined-up thinking and decisive action that you will get from a reformed Jersey government. If elected, I will ensure that making the minimum wage £10 an hour is the first item on the agenda for this new government, so that it can be achieved by October. I will press for GST on food, water and other essential items to be removed as quickly as possible. As part of Reform Jersey, we will be submitting our Housing Crisis Action Plan to firmly tackle the crisis we are truly in. By electing me, I hope, that you will ha- I hope that you will feel that you have someone that represents you and your needs, because these needs are the same as mine and those of my family. On the 22nd of June, please vote for me. Vote for Reform Jersey. Thank you. I'm Chris Hopkins and I'm currently standing for election as a deputy in St Helier South because I live in St Helier South. I've served the island for 34 years as a police officer and now as a traffic officer for the Royal Court. I'm the vice president of JCSA Prospect Union and I was a member of the Police Association for a combined 22 years assisting members who have been unfairly treated. I'm now standing for election as I believe that the current government are making poor decisions that are costing us all dearly. You would all have heard, you must vote for a political party. No party has or can gain a majority. If you vote for an independent candidate like myself, we will always vote how we believe you would want us to vote. If you vote for a political party candidate, then there will be occasions that the candidate will vote how they are told to vote by their party, whatever they think you may wish. The main issue facing Jersey at this time is housing. The current rising costs of housing both to purchase and rent, is affecting every aspect of Jersey life. Government rent should not be linked to the private sector. They should be means tested. I will push for the redevelopment of Snow Hill Car Park. This would be a reasonably cheap way to bring affordable housing into the centre of town. I would build a first floor for the parking of residents and or rent those spaces. Any money gained would go towards the maintenance of the building. Each parking space would have an electrical charging point. This plan would also include green spaces and access to full region. I would ensure that the town park was increased and would include a community centre. In relation to immigration, I believe we should be spending far more money on encouraging our young people to stay in the island and reduce the skill strains that we're currently facing. The government is continuously bringing in high value 
human assets, as they failed for many years to play in progression within the government, and the morale across the departments is rock bottom. The money being wasted on bringing in staff from the UK for the hospital and all other departments is out of control. I support the living wage and I would be looking to review the long-term care process as I believe this should also be means tested. If you vote for me, I will wear my hat. H for honesty, accountability and transparency. I want to be held accountable and I will always be transparent. I ask for you for a vote for me. Check out my social media, asking me as many questions as you want. Many thanks, Chris Hopkins. Greetings, I am Angela Elizabeth Jean, and I have been selected to be the Jersey Liberal Conservative representative for St Helier South District in this 2022 forthcoming election. I was born in Jersey and educated in New Zealand. Our family returned to Jersey and I met David whom I married. I am a retired registered general and psychiatric nurse, having spent many years mostly in acute services in London NHS teaching hospitals. I had a very varied and wide experience involving acute community and maximum security care. I was a member of European and international health informatics groups and travelled internationally as an invited guest speaker on the use of computerised healthcare systems. I returned to Jersey in 1993 as the Assistant Director of Information at Health and Social Services. From 2008 to 2011, I was the elected deputy in St Brillard's number no. 1 district. During this time, I was the Assistant Minister for Social Security and introduced Meet the Assistant Minister monthly meetings for all islanders who had concerns, questions or queries. I was also a member of several states panels, groups and working parties. I have to say that I smile when I reflect on that now, since trying to get personal contact with any staff at government departments nowadays seems almost impossible. There are three ways I would make my district a better place. Firstly, in liaison with the parish, I would focus on sustainable traffic, parking and public transport issues. Secondly, I would promote the protection of green space and potential leisure opportunities in Harvard Par, especially including the Lido facility, the reclamation area and the harbour, including La Folly Inn. Thirdly, I would promote the concept of responsible and reasonable tenancy and housing provision for St Helier's workforce and residents, including a registration scheme for landlords. In my view, the biggest problem currently facing Jersey is the need to address or adapt to the increase in population which is putting pressure on our housing, education and public services generally. By the way, all these matters are addressed in the Jersey Liberal Conservative and the Progressive Party Coalition Manifesto. Please do read it at www.jlc.je slash manifesto. If voters support me, they will get a dose of common sense from a committed JLC member who will listen and act upon as appropriate to your needs, aspirations and concerns with keeping within JLC's manifesto promises. Hello, I'm Russell Labby, seeking re-election as Deputy of St Helier South. I've been watching the hustings online and there's a few recurring themes A lot of my fellow candidates see ending the ability of foreign investors to buy property in Jersey as important. I agree, and it's one of the first actions I took when I became Housing Minister 15 months ago. Since April last year, we haven't issued any new share transfer licences, thereby stopping foreign investment. Existing share transfer properties can change hands as before until we find a legal route to end this. There are calls too to restrict buy-to-let, and extend the options available to assist first-time buyers via shared equity. Again, I'm already doing this, as one of the last policies I was able to announce before leaving office. Working together with developers, we've created the Jersey Homes Promise. This will see first-time buyers, upsizers, right-sizers, local families, offered the opportunity to purchase in new developments before the books are opened up to the buy-to-let industry. 
A new government shared equity scheme will offer first time buyers the chance to defer payment of up to 25% of the purchase price. It starts with a £10 million pot. I've already found ways to top this up. I'm an independent candidate, as I've witnessed factions, divisions, opposition for opposition's sake, and, well, rather self indulgent personality clashes take priority over serving the public and solving our problems. If that's party politics, you can keep it. Parties tend to polarise. We need to come together. Good government is a coalition of all the talents working together. Our vision for St Helia needs to improve and stretch further into the future. And that vision should have two parts. The type and quality of homes and apartments we provide and the land around them, underpinned by a quality of design that frankly has often been lacking. Our community spaces... Spaces for all ages to enjoy, spaces in which to play or relax, spaces you walk through to and from work or to other parts of St Helia, must be given more intelligent thought. Andium, telling us the best use of gas place is to double the size of the town park to the benefit of those living there now and those who will join in years to come, that's the kind of vision I'm talking about. We must make it happen. Working together, we must shield people from the cost of living rises, not only solve the housing crisis, but ensure it never happens again. Recruit, retain, accommodate the staff we need and get that hospital built. I've loved representing this district. I hope that by giving me one of your votes, you'll allow me to continue working hard on your behalf. Thank you. My name is Nick LeCornu. I'm non-party affiliated. I'm an employment lawyer and I represent employees in the Employment Tribunal and also in appeals to the Royal Court. I'm a UK qualified solicitor. I'm also a former deputy of St Helier, elected in the by-election in 2014. So I've done this job before, I've got experience. I'm a social justice campaigner and I've been doing that for 30 years. I'd like to make this district better by, well, let's sort out La Folly Pub, the commercial building has been completely abandoned. Maybe we can undertake a thorough access audit for disability. And there are certain things I'd like to amend the employment law on rights for disabled workers. Um, The biggest problem facing Jersey is, of course, its ruling class. It's a political class that's out of touch with working people and pensioners. And... um, There's also an issue of the crisis of affordability of housing. That's not easily answered, but it is crisis time for Jersey. And the manifestation of that, of course, is the 70% voter abstention. Those people are not stupid, they're not foolish, but they realise that the political class doesn't represent their social and economic interests. Now, if I was elected, I would be representing the social and economic interests of working people and people should vote accordingly. They'd also get a committed constituency deputy attentive to their needs, just as the way I represent employees in the Employment Tribunal. I'm constantly available. I'm always doing political work. Hello, my name is Jo Luce. I'm standing for St Helier South and I would love to be elected as a deputy. I am part of the Jersey Alliance My business is based in Pier Road. A big chunk of my family live in Havre de Pas. And I I love the district because I think it has a fantastic sense of history and a great ability to have strong community spirit. It would be a huge honour for me to be able to represent this district. Things that matter to me and that I think are important is building a better Jersey, really. I love the island. I came over here in 1989, and over the last 10 years, I have built a business, starting with myself and half a secretary. We now employ 35 people, the majority on island. I really believe that building and developing community spirit are critical to our success. What I mean by that is an ability to pull together budgets, an ability to make things count, and an ability to be good and kind within our community. I have demonstrated this, building my own business, making certain it has been successful. 
we pay taxes and we make sure that we have educated and encouraged the team with it within us. That's something I want to do for St. Helier South. I want to bring us together as a group of people from all walks of life and make it better for us. I am not a career politician. I'm a mother. I'm a worker. I'm somebody who works with a team. I'm team, team Jersey Alliance. I think Jersey Alliance, who are represented in all of these districts, give us an island mandate. And we may not be perfect, but we've got a great chance of being able to deliver what's needed. Better homes, hopefully better hospital, and better happiness, a stronger sense of who we are and what the community needs. Not external, not outside consultants, relying on good old island resilience. This is something I think Jersey is particularly good at, and we've forgotten. We've forgotten in the rhetoric that being critical isn't maybe the best way, that perhaps critical thinking and information and decisions based on data will work really well. This is something I want to support, and this is something Jersey Alliance support. Vote for me. Many thanks. I'm Bernie Manning. I live in the Italian South District and have done for several years. I'm an active member of the local community, having served on many parish committees, including the St. Helier Counts and Rose Committees, which I'm still a member of. I have stood for deputy in St. Helier before. Back in 2018, I lost out by only 50 votes, and I've been persuaded to stand again. Some of you may know me as the chairman of the Millennium Town Park Group, which I co-founded in 1995 when we managed to collect 17,500 signatures calling for a park to be built from Bath Street through to St Saviour's Road. Back in 2011 we managed to get the first stage of the park built. Now we need to continue it right the way through to St Saviour's Road. This is a highly used park and is very needed in this part of St Halia. I am committed to working towards a vibrant, safe and pleasant town for the residents of St Helia and visitors alike, as well as a fair, prosperous, caring and sustainable future. I feel there are many issues that need to be addressed, such as sustainable population, state schools to meet the needs of the community, family centres to support the families of St Helia, affordable housing and a lack of parking available in St Helia needs to be addressed. Government needs to help individuals and families to cope with the steep increase in the cost of living. Raising tax, tax thresholds would put money back into Ireland's pockets. I'd also like to see the living wage introduced as soon as possible. However, there would have to be a transition period to enable businesses to plan ahead. The minimum wage in Jersey is £9.22 compared to £9.50 in the UK. The living wage for Jersey as of January 2022 was £11.27 and would be much higher by now. If elected, I will campaign to bring senators back with the island-wide mandate in time for the 2026 election. My politics are not about left versus right. I believe politicians need to work together for the benefit of St Helia and the island, no matter what their political persuasion. If I am elected, the parishioners of St Helia will have someone who is committed to representing our community. There are no miracle cures or quick solutions to these problems, but with your vote, I will fight your corner to ensure that your future and your children's future is protected. My name's Judy Martin. I've been a deputy in District Number 1, St Helier, now called South, uh, for over 20 years. Um, I've worked as a backbencher, I've been Assistant Minister of Health, and for the last four years I've been Social Security Minister and also had responsibility for disability, uh, diversity and inclusion. I've got money for the uh, disability strategy. I've got people employed. It's really going forward really well, but there's still much more work to do. Lots of work um, for the team and working with the uh, dis disabled people of Jersey. 
Um, three ways I would like to improve my district. Obviously, I'd like to extend the town park fully. The district around there is just so dense with housing and more housing and more housing. Uh, the waterfront, see the full plan through, make it a place people want to go and live and visit. Lovely restaurants on the, uh, the, the seafront there. And also really just more green spaces in the rest of the town. We need more green lungs. Everything uh, boils down to housing. We have a plan called the Jersey Homes Promise. I've been working with the housing minister on that. We have a 10 million pot to help with uh, first-time buyers. But it's really about getting a deposit. That's what people are paying high rents cannot do. And basically, if you really... If you feel you can support me for the next four years, what you will get in Judy Martin is what you've got for the last 20 years. I work my best. I'm as honest as I can be. I'm always a phone call away. And I listen to the people in my district. I know where you are. You can always find me. And I just ask for your vote on the 22nd of June so I can continue. There's much, much more work I've really got lined up to do. Thank you. My name is Sam Mezek. I live in St. Helier and I'm running as a Reform Jersey candidate. A bit about my career so far. I've served as a States member for the last eight years, including previously as a St. Helier deputy. I've served in senior roles in both scrutiny and government, and I'm the leader of the political party Reform Jersey. As a States member, my biggest achievements in recent years have been to reform our social housing rent system, as I promised I would do at the last election and securing more homes in private developments to be reserved for first-time buyers. In previous years, I was proud to have first brought the issue of same-sex marriage onto the political agenda, and I've always supported more equality and fairness for islanders, no matter what their background is. I've taken on more constituency cases than I can count, helping people with problems they were facing in government departments, and this has always been the most satisfying part of the job. Three ways I would make my district a better place. Well, firstly, St Helier must be made a greener and more sustainable town. We'll support providing more open green space, safer pathways and active travel infrastructure to improve our quality of life here. We must devolve more power to the parish of St Helier so decisions which affect us on things like roads and licensing can be made by people who are more in touch with what local residents and businesses think. And we must also ensure that homes built in St Helier South are affordable. And that's why we're pledging to relook at the proposed South Hill and waterfront developments and prevent the current plans from going ahead, which do not meet our housing need. The biggest problem facing Jersey is growing inequality. For the last 10 years, we've been going backwards. Life is becoming harder for many and poverty has been increasing. We must reverse this trend. A key part of this will be to resolve the housing crisis And that's why Reform Jersey has produced a comprehensive housing crisis action plan, which we commit to enacting from the first week of office if we are elected to government. If voters support me, they will get not just one effective states member with a proven track record of working hard for their constituents and getting results, but also a leader of a strong team in the states working towards our clear manifesto commitments, which you can read more on our website. So on the 22nd of June, please vote for your local Reform Jersey candidates. My name is Beatrice Porre. I was born in Angola and brought up in Portugal. I am 55 years old. I arrived in Jersey in the spring of 89 with a six-month employment contract. My first impression of Jersey was of how friendly the people were. I was young, willing, able and happy to be working in such a beautiful island. After four years in Jersey, I met my husband. Together we started a family and raised our three children here. We live in Santalia and I also run a business in town. For many years I did not engage in Jersey politics. I did not understand the Jersey political system. It felt like an exclusive part of Jersey life that only some of us had access to. Moving forward a few good years, I now know that political exclusiveness is no longer part of the modern, progressive, diverse of Jersey today. As an African Portuguese-speaking immigrant with British nationality, I am standing for 2022 elections because I believe that Jersey political arena 
must change to better reflect, serve and understand the present island's diverse population. I am standing with Reform Jersey because I share the party's desire to create a more equal society with a stronger sense of inclusivity and fairness. As a deputy, I will work with other states members to create an island that all of us should be proud of, an island where everyone can achieve their potential irrespective of race, religion, gender, political ability or social background. At a time where there is so much economic uncertainty with the huge cost of living increase and the major housing crisis, it is more important than ever to look after those who earn the least. The cost of accommodation in Jersey is amongst the highest in Europe and a major cause of poverty for those on lower incomes. The present housing situation needs to be tackled if Jersey is to keep a strong workforce necessary for our economy to flourish. We need to work together to solve Jersey's biggest economical and social issues that affect all of us directly or indirectly. On June the 22nd, please vote Beatrice Poré. Vote Reform Jersey. Thank you. Hello, my name is David War, and I'm standing in South St Helier. I'm an independent and I'm working with the Better Way 2022 movement. I'm standing because I want to help create conditions that enable people and businesses to fulfil their potential and improve the standard of living and well-being of all islanders. With regard to housing, is the housing gateway sufficiently inclusive? An email I received from Pam suggests not. Why does the public sector rent levels track those of the private sector? This needs to be challenged. We need the Council of Ministers to take back control of housing, to make sure that the current strategy is fit for purpose. Turning now to tax. The 010 tax regime is complicated. It was set up to ensure our finance industry remained competitive in a global market, but it came with local consequences. Is it still fit for purpose? I hear the calls for GST to be removed from food. Whilst I'm not against the idea, it will have a major impact on government revenue. I don't want to see solutions that result in Middle Jersey paying more of the island's tax bill. We need to broaden the free school meal offer to ensure that all children get at least one decent meal a day. But most importantly, we must never forget that in a civilised society, it is unacceptable to have to choose between heating and eating. The cost of building our new hospital is totally out of hand and risks mortgaging future generations. I don't wish to seek out a new site, I simply want to see the existing hospital remain where it is with Overdale focusing on recuperative care and great new staff accommodation. We need to pause, but we also need to deliver, and there are the people on island capable of doing this. I want a singular vision for the future of the whole St Helia. The current fragmented approach is a disaster. We need better green spaces, Millennium Park must be extended to St Saviour's Road, and we need solutions for the future of Fort Regent. We have a major demographic time bomb on our hands. How will we as a community adapt to an older population? For those calling for greater restrictions on immigration, think about Brexit. The cost of housing and license restrictions already provide huge barriers. Do we really need uh, more red tape to stifle our economy? There are, though, there are though things we can do. We need a plan to stay in touch with those who have residential qualifications but who live away from the island. The Jersey diaspora can be a huge source of our future workforce needs. A Jersey first policy is needed. The cost of government is also running out of control, a headcount increase of 800 over the past four years, an additional 100 million expenditure over and above the 100 million spent on COVID is extraordinary. Does it really cost a billion pounds to run our government? We must not forget that our economy is the driver for everything. We do. There are opportunities to diversify our economy in areas such as digital, film, agri-tech, fintech, green investment and hemp industry. The purpose of government is to put the appropriate framework in place. Finally, we need to ensure our education system is fit for purpose in the 21st century. Strong leadership, great teachers and a curriculum fit for purpose will ensure we have a workforce ready for the future work, uh, workspace. I would like to help guide that process and hope that you will vote for David War on June 22nd. So those were the candidates in St Helier South. Remember, polling day is the 22nd of June, that's a Wednesday. Polls open at 8 o'clock, you've got 12 hours to vote, and you've got to choose up to four candidates. 
stay tuned on election night to bailiwickexpress.com or to any of our social channels or our radio stations. And we'll bring you all the action as it happens. But for now, thanks for listening. Thank you.